Right, the next stage to this project is I'm going to need a, uh, a square rectangular grommet in here because there's supposed to be a ribbon cable that uh, connects to a PCB inside the box. Uh, so rather than just having this flapping around in quite a large opening, we, we just need to make a, a grommet which will open up, allow that to slide through and then push into this hole. Uh, grommets obviously need to be fairly soft materials. I'm not sure if I've got anything quite this soft. Uh, I might have. I know I've got some that are down to uh, an 80A sure hardness, possibly even a bit lower. I used to have some 40. I don't know if I've got any of that left. But I'll find something that's close enough. So uh, it's not a particularly complicated mould to produce. I just need a couple of uh, lines, a pocket out at the centre, double sided mould and then to form the slot that I'm going to push the cable through uh, I found these paint scrapers in the local pound shop which this cable is uh, about the right size but I think the actual cable is a little bit thinner than that so that should do, I think it's 43 millimetres yeah that's close enough and thickness wise well as long as it's not over a millimetre that's well under, that's about a quarter of a millimetre so if I just cut a pocket 250 microns deep, uh, get a couple of magnets, assuming this is, it is indeed magnetic, get a couple of magnets in there, that will click in, as long as it's a good tight fit I shouldn't get any flash, uh, and then my grommet will go across this way, double sided mould, uh, and that's just a case of making sure it fits, and finding a material that will squash through, but uh, we'll get this set up to begin with and worry about the material when we get onto the moulding. I decided it would be a little easier if I kept the plate in one piece, it just makes clamping a bit uh, easier to handle rather than working on these small plates. So I've marked it up, referenced off the centre, come over to the centre of what's going to be our first plate here, here. Uh, and now we've just got to drill a few holes, uh, pocket that centre slot for the paint scraper, uh, and then come in with a slightly smaller bit to actually make our grommet, which of course is going this way I think, but anyway we'll start with the holes. In case it's not showing up on camera, just got two 5mm holes going through the plate here. Well, not quite because I don't want to machine into the bed, but I'll drill these out separately later. And then a 10mm counter bore going down 4mm. Uh, this here and this hole over here are going to be uh, the guide pin plates. Uh, guide pins for the, uh, the top plate. Uh, a couple of magnet holes here if I need them. And then these are the important magnet holes for holding the section in the middle to make that all-important slot for us. So these are 1.2 uh, millimetres deep, the magnets are 0.75 so allowing a quarter of a millimetre for the shim plate that's going in plus the adhesive on the magnets, they should be about right, slightly below the centre hopefully but I uh, can always clock this up and re-drill those if necessary. So the next stage will be to just put a, a feed point here with a runner coming down uh, and then We'll take out this pocket 250 microns deep and uh, then we'll come in and do the slots for the grommet. to the south facing window it's a little difficult to get a decent focus on this but uh, we'll carry on so the next stage is to cut this 
pocket out for the shim and I'm going to undercut this very slightly and make sure that this does fit because I don't want any gaps otherwise the plastic's going to leak down it and we'll get some flash so if this is 250 microns deep we'll probably start at 240 and just come in at maybe 30 was it 43 mil so 42.8 and that just gives us a fraction clearance and then we can come in with a second pass and just get that to fit absolutely perfect uh, and then it's just a case of a few lines to take the grommet out right let's carry on Right, it should now be spot on 43, and yeah, it's pretty close. I think by the time the mould clamps on that with 40 tons, that should seat in there quite nicely. But yeah, that should probably do it. Okay, I'll call that bit done. So next stage is I need to just pocket across here for the main body of uh, the grommet and I'm going to do this with a, a 3mm slot drill and go down 4.5mm so it's not too critical that part so I'll get that set up and give that a quick spin Okay, that looks reasonable actually, I might, no I think that's just needs a dust. No, that's going to get cut out anyway. So uh, next stage is just to, to cut the flanges on either end of this, uh, which I'm doing with a 1.8 slot drill. Uh, and I'm actually going to come in across, round, back down and out like that because if I just plunge in here I might get a, a bit of wiggle and to try and keep it neat and tidy I think we'll go around like that and do this on both sides so shouldn't take very long and then we're just about finished on that side Right, just need to add a small 
gate at this end, which will be a little V cut with a small dental burr, one millimetre carbide, uh, and possibly a vent at this end as well. So I'll set that one up next. And I'm very nearly done this side. Right, well that seems to look okay. I think that's pretty much all of it done. Just need to drill through a few of these holes, tap these two to add the guide pins, the uh, M6 cap head bolts, and then same again on the other side, and we'll put it in the machine and see if it runs. Right, a uh, couple of guide pins. There we go, that's one. Okay, that's the other. A bit of a tighten up. Okay, got my magnets in place, and that does seem to fit. So, uh, does this mate? And yes, it does. That's good. And that actually looks pretty tidy down there. I can't see any gaps. So hopefully, when that's clamped shut in the moulding machine, that is not going to flash. In fact, that slide's quite nice. Right, let's go get the machine warmed up and see if it'll run. I'm getting a whisker of flash down one edge, but it slides out okay. And they're coming out of the mould okay. And that little tiny bit of flash on the edge there is only probably a hundred microns. So, let's see if they fit the housing. Now, which way up did I do this? That way, I think. So that should just push in there. Yeah. Okay, well, mould a few more and see if they fit the uh, the box and the cable. But looking okay. At least they're moulding. Right, well I've moulded off a few dozen of these and they're not too bad. I think the reason I was getting a bit of flash down the edges is because this shim has shifted at some point. I can see some marks hanging over the edge here, so uh, clearly a quarter of a mil lip is not really enough to hold that in place. I think if I do this sort of thing again I'm probably going to have to find a way of locking this in a little bit better than it's done on this occasion. Uh, I think you can see some marks on here maybe if you can catch that in the light. There's just a little bit of a ridge there, so that would explain the flashing. But they've peeled off quite nice, and uh, I think they're fit for purpose. So, try a dry fit. Uh, if I can squeeze this over, I think this cable is a little bit bigger than the one that's intended for use. But it does seem to fit. So, uh, that's okay. And it's not bulging out too much. Let's see if we can squeeze it into the front faceplate. As 
is going to be easy or a bit tricky. Okay, that's not too bad. Yeah. Okay, with a little bit of a wiggle, that seems to go in. And that's holding that quite firmly, actually. So that will act as a bit of a strain relief. And if I can put that over the front of the case, there's our finished grommet and faceplate. So, yeah, not too bad at all. Uh, I think maybe I need to, oh, I don't know, maybe I'll recut it at some point, but considering I can peel that little bit of flash off, I think we can live with that. It's not like I'm moulding thousands of them. So, uh, enough there for the first batch, another bag full. So, I shall pass them on and uh, see what the next project's going to be.